Hello everyone, we are from True Maths and in this video we are going to solve question number 3rd of exercise 7.3 and this question has 2 parts and in this video we are going to solve the first part. The question says two sides AB and BC and median AM of one triangle ABC are respectively equal to sides PQ and QR and median PN of triangle PQR. You have to show that that triangle ABM is congruent to triangle PQN. Here it is given that this is triangle ABC and this is PQR where AB is equal to PQ, BC is equal to this QR and this median AM is equal to PN. Now what does median mean? Median is a line drawn from a vertices and it divides the opposite sides in equal to equal parts or you can say that median divide, uh, bisects the opposite side means it divides the opposite sides in two equal parts means this M must be the midpoint for BC means this BM and MC must be equal similarly here also this QN QN must be equal to NR because PN is again a median where N should be the midpoint and you have to prove that this triangle ABM this one is congruent to PQN this one now how to do that this side of this triangle is equal to this side of this triangle this is given to you this is given that AB is equal to PQ and this AM which is the median is given equal to this PN so this side of this triangle will be equal to this side of this triangle so here this side is equal to this side and this side is equal to this side now this complete is given equal to this complete side this is again given BC is equal to QR now if BC is equal to QR obviously the half of BC must also be equal to the half of QR and because M is the midpoint so this will be equal to this means if I am saying this complete side is 4 cm and this is again 4 cm so obviously half of these which is 2 cm and 2 cm must also be equal and here this 2 cm will be BM and here this will be QN so BM and QN will also be equal so by side 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 or because all three sides of this triangle are equal to all three sides of this triangle so by side 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 property these two triangles are congruent now let's write it down the same thing which we have uh, done here in triangle ABM and triangle PQN AB is equal to PQ this is given to you and AM is equal to PN again this is the equal median this is again given to you now BC is equal to QR this is again given to you now if this, these complete sides are equal so obviously the half of this side must also be equal now if I divide the, this equation by 2 it will be BC upon 2 and this will be QR upon 2 and we know that this half of this BC will be BM because this M is the midpoint so this will be half of this complete so instead of half of BC we can write BM so it will be B M and this will be equal to the half of QR will be Q N so this will be Q N so by this first equation second and by this third we have proved that three sides of this triangle is e are equal to three sides of this triangle so we can confirm that triangle A B M will be congruent to triangle P Q N this is by side 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 property of congruency now this is the answer here 
and if we have proved that triangle ABM is congruent to triangle PQN, obviously three sides we have proved that equals to these three sides. So obviously these three angles will also be equal. This angle will be equal to this angle. This will be equal to this, and this will be equal to this. So by this we have proved that this angle B will be equal to angle Q. This proof will be helpful in the next video which is the second part of the same question. So this is how you can solve this first part. I hope you have understood how to solve this. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and if you have any problem in maths, you can directly contact us. The phone number, the email address and the whatsapp number is given below in the description. Thank you.